What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some Smite gameplay. This is the game mode Conquest, which is just basically a three lane map, um, and I'm playing the god Ares. I have a weird skin, I don't remember what the name of it is. Um, skins just make your god look different, and every character you play in this game is a god, just heads up there. But uh, yeah, this is just going to be an introduction video to Smite. Um, you'll see the intro sequence playing right now of how the game started. I fast forwarded part of it just because it was slow. And I'm going to jump around a lot because this game was like 40 minutes long or something like that. So I cut it into little chunks of some of the more memorable moments of the game, at least for me. So enjoy that as I try to explain this because I want to make several videos of this game. But I don't want to make it and then you guys don't understand what's going on. Because I know MOBAs can be a little bit complicated if you don't understand them or if you've never seen them before. So we're just going to kind of go over the basics. So what's going on on the screen there? So top left and top right you see little pictures of some of the gods and you'll see uh, numbers below them and bars below them. That's going to be my teammates and the enemy along with health, mana, and what level we're currently at. You can get up to level 20 in game. Which is just, you know, that's giving you access to more abilities to use and more base damage, uh, or just more base stats, I guess, because you, as you level, you get some more base levels as far as damage, uh, resistance, movement, stuff like that. And then center, you see uh, the kill counts for both teams and the gold count for both teams and then the timer of the match. Uh, left hand side of the screen you see the items that I'm currently building um, and then which you know just give you buffs like defense, attack damage, attack speed, uh, cooldown reduction, stuff like that. Bottom left you see where my consumables and my actives would be if I have any. I don't know if at this point I do or not um, in the game but that's just where they would go. Consumables would be like health potions, mana potions, stuff like that. And then actives would be like little short buffs that just last for a couple seconds and have like a massive cooldown of several minutes. Um, bottom right, you see my abilities, whatever abilities I have leveled. You see how far up they're leveled and whether or not I can currently use them. Because, you know, if they have a cooldown timer going, that means I can't use it. I have to wait till that cooldown is up to use it again. Um, of course, you can still basic attack, which is, you know, just pressing the right trigger. Um, and then center bottom, you see my health, my mana, my experience, and then any auras or buffs that I'm currently, you know, receiving um, as I'm near my teammates or whatever. And then the right hand side, you see where the mini map is, and the mini map displays where our minions are located, and then anything that is in our vision. So if like our minions spot a enemy god or enemy minions they will show up on the map you'll also see some dots around the map those are and you'll they'll look different they're different colors and stuff uh, those are just jungle buffs and jungle camps uh, they give different things like a speed bonus a gold bonus experience stuff like that and then you'll see that there's towers and then phoenixes and then the titan at the enemy base along it's the same on our side as well and basically how you win this game is you push down the towers you push down the phoenixes and then you kill the titan um if you were under any of those objectives and there's no minion friendly minions then they will prioritize attacking you um if you attack an enemy god under them then they will switch from prioritizing any friendly minions to you um and that's kind of the basics of how that works Basically then, you see the lanes are a little bit different, so I'm going to go over what's typically played. Uh, so you see short lane, which is going to be the where the towers are closest, or right lane. And that is where usually one person goes, and that's usually like a warrior or a guardian class. Just, you know, kind of high defense, not necessarily a lot of damage. Um, and they're just kind of chilling up there. And then middle lane is, you know, where mages go. Uh, lots of magic power, it's just... A solo lane again and that's kind of a highly contested lane as well there's a lot of ganking that goes on which I will explain in a moment and then there's long lane which is duo lane where ADC attack damage carry and a support typically goes and then as you get to certain levels you kind of stop laning well also I, I forgot this last time I tried to record this as well um, there is the jungler who goes around trying to get all the jungle camps and he is usually an assassin class 
Um, and that's kind of the basics of it. Then after laning phase, you start kind of grouping up and pushing down objectives and, you know, kind of ganking as a team and trying to... What ganking is flanking in Call of Duty terminology. But you're just trying to win the team fights because as the game goes on, it takes longer and longer to respawn up to like over a minute. So it gets kind of crazy and you can push down a lot of stuff in that time frame. And yeah, that's pretty much all of the super basic stuff for this game. Obviously, there's a lot more to this game. It's very complex and there's other game modes. Um, but this is probably the most complex game mode and I tried to give you guys just kind of a brief rundown. So hopefully you, you guys can understand what's kind of going on now, and I'm sure you'll pick up the rest of it as it goes on. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.